Good morning, everybody. I am doing a monthly plan with me today. It's uh, October um, tomorrow as you're watching this and my print nozzles are messed up and or I need more ink. I think I need more ink. Uh, least of my concerns today. So we're just going to go with it. It's not the prettiest, but like, I don't think I really care that much and uh, it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Got my cup of coffee and I'm going to jump into it and complain a little bit about things. I was having a really fantastic September, actually. Um, but just the last couple of weeks have been just people sick and not people in my family, which is just like, for one thing, I'm grateful. But for another thing, it's just kind of annoying uh, to have your plans derailed by somebody else, somebody else's family. You can't control any of that. Obviously, you can't control anyway. Whatever. Uh, it's October, which means the weather's finally cooling down. And that means that I can finally break out my favorite washi tapes. Um, this little guy with the fox tails. Um, this one with like all these little fall motifs. Literally can't use this any other time of year. Um, and then I have some others here that are sort of in the same color palette. I've got sort of greens and uh, browns going and the little pop of orange there. So why do I have the yellow highlighter out? I don't know. I should probably grab a green one too. But I don't have the right like shade. So there you go. Maybe that's why. Um, let me see. This is insert 14, which is the dated monthly. And it is very um, efficient with space. And so there's not really a lot that needs to be done with like filling space and decoration. That's one of the things I kind of like about something like my grid monthly, which I've been using for a long time. This brown highlighter is slightly too dark, but we're going with it because it's what I've had. Um, I like having a little bit of space on my monthly page that's like unused so that I can cover it with stickers and washi uh, to make everything a little bit pretty because honestly this is a very utilitarian um, insert, but I just felt like I wanted to switch it up. So I'm definitely going to grab this one and I think some of this one and fill in just a little bit at the bottom here. Uh, let's see, do a little layering maybe. So today, when I'm done filming this and everybody starts waking up, because I've mentioned before, I uh, I wake up super early to get this stuff done. And thank goodness, because it's going to be crazy today. Um, my husband and I are both working from home because our three-year-old is quarantining from an exposure at school. So that means the rest of us are all second degree exposures, but like, somebody still has to stay at home with her and watch her and you can't really quarantine a three-year-old away from the rest of the family. So, you know, we're just going to see what happens. Um, she's getting tested today and hopefully it comes back negative and we can go back to normal. But in the meantime, we're going to have a couple days of just keeping our heads above water as you do. And this is the first of those. So we're, we're going to do our best. Keep us in your prayers. As you're watching this, hopefully we'll have already gotten her negative and um, we can just get on with our lives, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, recording this to get it out of the way because otherwise it isn't going to get done. And I definitely want you to have your monthly play with me video. A little bit of it. Fall insp <laughs> inspiration. So if my life were inspiring right now, it's all about the decoration and the washi tape, right? You and I are both living for this. I think I will use a little green here if I can find it. I'm not sure where the brush one is. Here's the normal mild liner. Um, I think I'm just gonna like maybe just put a line of green over the dates and not the days. Um, just to sort of set this part of the line apart from the rest, if that makes sense. No, I don't need to do that. Okay. Like this. And then maybe toss in one or two of these little fall doodad motifs around 
Where is the end of the washi tape? Do we want a deer? Uh, I'm going to stick a feather. It's not a feather, a leaf. I'm going to stick a leaf. Here. Over here. Stick a leaf in the corner somewhere. There we go. Um, up here. Like that. And then trim it. So I do have this currently dashboard. Uh, I want to say insert 44, but that could be wrong. Uh, on the other side. And then it doesn't look too bad. So I can also do a little bit of like a, another one of two of these little friends on there somewhere. Maybe, I don't know if I want to use washi tape. I think I will. I think I'll use this one. This is sort of a forest service green, don't you think? Then I'll do, not the mushroom, I don't need the mushroom. Uh, but I do like the little trees and little bear. It's again, forest service green, right? This, and then throw in the bear, forget the mushroom. How's that? You just look at one little glance, it's just like, oh, cute little whatever, and you don't really see the uh, the white translucent washi tape. There's something stuck on the back of this washi, some dust or something. And then I'll just do a little bit of a brown on these. And a uh, green on this one. So, yeah, so that's what that looks like. And then we've got October. And now it's time to do the actual planning. Uh, but first let me quickly show you how my currently dashboard turned out for last month for September. See, that's all I do is I go through around the middle of the month and just fill in what we're doing what I'm doing. I'm going to flip to my future log. I don't know if there's, yeah, there's not really much on September's monthly that needs migrating over. So I'm just going to flip to the future log and get started. We are off school now because of this until the 7th. So I'm going to put a little line here. Hopefully we will remember that okay. It won't be a problem remembering that. It'll be at the front of our heads for the next two weeks. But remember like a year and a half ago when quarantines were 14 days regardless of anything else? Um, at least we're not living that time. I got stuck in, uh, in this sort of situation once when... I better have my, yeah, we will. We'll have the test result by Friday because I have to, um, I have call in jury service starting on this Friday, tomorrow. Um, so I have to, I call in every day, like twice a day for a week. And if they need me, they will tell me to come in. Otherwise I don't. And then like, if they don't end up using you for the whole week, your service is over. Which in theory, you know, it's better than 
sitting around. Like, they basically only call you if they need you, and so you're pretty likely to end up on a panel if you get pulled in at all. Um, so there's, you know, that's the downside, I guess. But it's better than, for everybody around, better than sitting around in a waiting room all day. What is that? Oh, yes, okay. The 12th. The 12th will be fine. All right, and that's at 4.30. 4.30... Put shots of a nurse visit because there's certain immunizations that they only give, you know, like six months apart, like for babies. And they don't consider that when making your appointments. So her, my, my baby's one year appointment was like two days too early to get some of her shots. So she split them in two. She needed seven total, including the flu shot. Um, and so she got four of them and she's going to get three more and then Agnes needs her flu shot too, so we're going to the nurse visit on that day. That won't be a problem. <sighs> I don't know if this is happening. This is like a, it's called Renew. It's like a women's retreat thing, like a little morning retreat run by some of the ladies at my church. And I'd like to go in theory. It might be just such a crazy week that I really need it, or it might be such a crazy week that I can't go. Like, if she tests positive, all of this is getting derailed. And then this one here, 7 p.m., I think, or no, 7.30. I didn't write it down. Sorry, I know my hand's blocking all of this, but this is the, I'm calling it a soiree. They're calling it, I don't know what, but uh, I'm calling it the new parent soiree. They're inviting us as new parents of the school to a sort of get-together thing to meet other new parents and PTA members and whatever. It's all stuck in. That's everything that was on there, um, there being my future log, and then, let's see, oh, yeah, I'll check the school calendar, um, what's in here, a couple of half days, but that don't apply, gift cards do, no idea what that means, and then there's a separate calendar that's specifically for the preschool, and there is Let's see, Columbus Day, but not observed. That's nice. And Halloween also is on the weekend. So I'm sure that things will pop up. I'm sure there will be a costume day that I'll need to know about. Recurring tasks. Uh, let's see. And those will go on my little weekly to-do lists on this side. So we've got... Oh, this is important. Okay. Um, no, you know what? You know what? Real quick, I'm going to add a header. Never too late. I'm going to put that here. And I'm going to use a sticker. I can find one. This is my beautiful organization of my stickers. They're in an oatmeal box. And I usually do this off camera and cut it out, but I've been doing so well without needing to edit so far that you get to watch that. All right, I'm gonna use the one from Sweet Tea Sticker Co. Um, Cause it's a little bit bigger. I like these. I've been using a lot of my Mad Hatter stickers lately, which I'm loving as well, and they fit fantastic on the pocket size, you know, little inserts, but this doesn't need to take up less space. It's doing fine as is. That kind of offsets the top, I don't know, visually, and just kind of adds a little bit of something, maybe, I don't know. Um, so to do, generally, I need to back up video files. We do that quarterly. Used to be just because I needed the space on my hard drive, and now I think I'm just trying to make a good habit of it. Toothbrush head, that's mine. Head. Then, oh gosh, gallery photos haven't happened yet. Put that here. I think I'm due to change my sheets too, and that hasn't happened. 
things just, you know, but now, now you all know why, um, last time I was pregnant, I kept it a secret for like a long time. I don't know. I guess I will. Cause you guys have to be the last to know, cause I cannot let, um, people in my life find out like randomly from watching a YouTube video, you know, uh, if they do tooth brush. Um, anyway, so I kept my entire my pregnancy a secret through my entire first trimester and it was pretty tough because it was a tough first trimester, but I'm realizing now, like I'm nine weeks, um, and I'm feeling better. Like I'm not feeling as nauseous. I am feeling still tired, but not feeling as nauseous. So I think it's getting better sooner, but I was realizing last time it's mostly, I think, because I was also like sick with a cold or the, probably a flu. Um, I don't know. My mom thinks it was COVID. I visited, uh, San Francisco over New Year's, uh, girls toothbrushes. I did that car insurance. Yes, that happens twice a year and you can't be late with that. Uh, let's see. Then stuff on the 15th. I'll just, okay, yeah, we're going to actually clean Clancy's brush because we've been using him lately. Coal bags and, oh, I looked it up. So these charcoal bags are actually not woo, I guess. Um, they feel a little bit magical. I don't know if they work. Oh, and razor. I get Dollar Shave Club and I'm finally switching my husband over because he like never changes his razor and he's finally out. So, and then the 14th is Twitch. All right. Then do we have any birthdays? Just my parents' anniversary. So I'll just put here. So we can remember to give them a ring. I'm grateful that they're together. You know, here we are. And then I think that's it for the monthly planning. This week, um, I just printed this out too, so I'll show you. This, one of the things that I'm doing to try to maintain sanity this week is I'm using Insert 36, the weekly time blocking. I just printed this out and I'm hoping that this will help me stay sane a little bit. It's got a full 24 hour time ladder. So I'm just going to use this to kind of keep notes on things as they're happening and sort of color code how well my hours are going working. Um, you know, if there's an hour that's like really great, maybe I'll mark it green. If there's an hour that's a little bit distracted, I'll mark it yellow. The thing is, I don't know. I think that I can be as productive here that I can just like focus and power through and just be really productive for short bursts of time and still get the same amount done over the course of the day. Um, it's the end of a month and actually also the beginning of the fiscal year, the federal fiscal year. So this is a busy time for me, um, or it's about to start becoming a busy time for me. So I really want to be caught up before October starts. So anyway, that's what's happening. Um, I just printed this out this morning. I'm filming this Tuesday morning, so I haven't used it yet. Um, as you can see, this is what I mean by the nozzle pattern being weird. Um, but I'm going to replace the page black and that should fix that hopefully. But I kind of don't care right now. And you don't even really notice it, do you? Like once it's decorated, that's all you see is the decorations. So here's October and I am uh, feeling good about that. I wonder if I should put an October on the front here. Oh dear. This ink kind of, can you see that? The line there where I marked off the off school days. Anyway, that's everything. Thank you for joining me this morning. A slower pace than usual. No, like, zooming, fast forward, anything. But I appreciate your company. It's going to be a long day. Um, so, you know, keep me in your prayers. And I will see you guys in the next video on Thursday. Bye.